GG! It's your boy Fist in his house! Bring another great edition of Call of Duty Ghost for me to you, because that's what I do! And I'm glad you like the late night commentaries. I like I like doing them. Uh, this map right here, I want to talk about this map. If you got the new Xbox or the PS4, and I'm this is a continuation. I'm using the uh, MR28. I kept saying the M28 yesterday. My bad, guys. I feel bad. Close these doors as soon as you get in here. And see, here's the thing: you could play this. You could play this map two different ways. You can you can control the middle there or the inside with the long range weapon or you can run around with the SMG I just you know it, it depends on the team that you're playing so you know I find this this map and Chasm to be the one one of the hardest maps for people to understand and comprehend I mean it depends it depends on what type of players that I'm playing I don't know if this is the map where this guy was using the K7 and I was getting, you know, frustrated, so I just switched up to the the vector. But that's the thing, you know, you have to decide what type of players you are playing against. So, you know, and, and then I changed to my IMS. I started using the IMS because I was, like, feeling that... Here's the thing. The Trinity Rockets are really bad. Infinity Ward, please fix the Trinity Rockets. The Trinity Rockets don't kill nobody. It's a terrible kill streak. Um... Here's a good place to put this IMS. They always come in here, but sometimes they could just outrun it. And if they got like extreme condition, then they, they could just outrun it and kill it right there. And so sometimes it misses. And you can see here, I think we have um, mostly you want to have, I think, C and B and leave them on A. But we're kind of like we have B, but we don't have C and A. It's kind of in the middle. We don't. Team's kind of messed up. So um, I didn't see they were forcing the. Uh, they were forcing us on B, so you know I was like, get a little freedom, come out here, and that's what's good about having these marksmen. You can come out here and you can fight, you can fight short or you can fight long. Now, if somebody in the comments uh, in Twitter yesterday were, they weren't directed towards me, but somebody had like re-mentioned my name in the um, comments about saying that you know because you use the marksman, you think you're OP or something or. Something to the effect of, because you use the marksman, you think you're good. Listen, here here's the analogy I want to give to you people about anybody who says that you use a certain weapon and it, it might be a noob weapon or it might be politically incorrect in the Call of Duty community to use and so on and so forth. One, um, they don't want to take the time to learn the same weapon you're using. Two, if if the weapon was so overpowered, or any weapon for that matter that you're, you're talking about, for example, um, why does pro players, and I know this doesn't have direct relationship to the weapon, but in pro tournaments, why do pro players use target finders and ghillie suits? I mean, they don't sit there and say, well, we're getting down to the ten thousand dollar, you know, final, and we're not going to use it. We're gonna, we're both going to respect each other and not use the target finder or the ghillie suits. In UMG Philly, they both use target finders, and all of them use ghillie suits. So the bottom line is, you know, even pro players who consider something that is completely cheap in the game, when it comes down to it is that they don't care what anybody says they're there to win and that's the same thing in this game don't let anybody tell you how to play call of duty if if they don't like the way you play the game then that's you know that's their problem that means just means that they're they have a very small limitations and you can beat them i mean there's there's a plenty there's tons of idiots on youtube you know, and in Twitter universe and so on and so forth. But anyways, so here's the thing. I'm just, I just know that B is the most important flag to hold, especially if you got both doors closed. I mean, first of all, they have to come in from both angles to get to B. So as long as you hold down to B, I mean, this is the object of the game is to hold down the flag or capture the flags. I mean, it's, it's just, it's funny to me that 
people don't sit there and go, um, they'll they'll crap on pub games. I'm not I'm not Jay Disney or whoever these other clowns are who are running around with people helping them get Moabs and nukes. I don't even know. No, I I play the game, you know that I feel is has strategy to it. You want to call it camping? I don't care. You know, you look at my video, you use my strategies, it will work on your own. It's not me contacting a bunch of people on Twitter to run um, vests so I can get a nuke or a Moab. I mean, that's not that's not the fun in the game. I mean, the whole the whole point of these guys across the board, you know. And I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about you know branding these pro players, these pro, all these pro teams. I watched this whole fallout over um, Optic Gaming. Listen, if you're a true fan of Call of Duty. You respect all aspects of the game, but when you, when you are a veteran of Call of Duty, you see every aspect of the game, and you realize that you know some people are just full of shit. You know they're out there to screw the game, screw the screw the community. I mean, there's there's tons of tons of examples. I mean, Woody's Gamertag no longer makes Call of Duty videos, but yet eight million copies of Call of Duty have sold. And there's plenty. I'm just using his, him as an, a primary example. But this just goes to show you that those guys are no longer around. So they were never had your best intentions of the game in the first place. And I'm not saying that you know they they you know could leave they could leave or whatever. I mean I'm not feeling frustrated that they left or I'm not indifferent one way or the other. It doesn't matter. But I'm just making a point. You know you see all these guys that want to like. Their whole thing is, is if they can define your gameplay on YouTube, then all you're going to see is the same gameplay that is designed by them for you to watch them only and nothing else. You play your own game. If you don't like what somebody, you know, is showing you or have to say or and you feel indifferent about it, if you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it. What's the point, really? You're wasting your time and you're wasting the person's time that's making the videos. That's the way I look at it. So, anyways, moving right along. I mean, I'm going to talk about this uh, whole fallout with Optic Gaming and UMG and how I see these other. You know, I, I like following this because, you know, I want to say something about the whole thing in general. You know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You could come over there. I just. We'll see another gameplay of MR28. I just don't. I'll probably stream this weekend. The, the reason I'm like. Um, not showing a different gameplay today is because um, we've been snowed in for the last three days, so I'm, you know, dealing with that situation right now. Kind of sucked, man. I, I um, hyperextended my door when backing up. My door, my driver's side door, got caught in a snowdrift when I was backing up. My dumbass was looking backwards because the windows were all frozen, and that's what happened. So. Oh, and then I lost my credit cards, and then it dropped in the snow, and I had to cancel all that, and it's just, you know, it's just frustrating when you, you know, it's all because of some dumbass people who, you know, get stuck in the road, and know they can't drive on the road, and you go around them, and you get stuck. So, anyways, uh, that's the kind of day I was having. So, the MR-28, you see how I'm using different angles and ways to get to the C flag or the uh, the A flag the whole thing is, is like once you come right through here from C to, to uh, you come from C straight to B don't even cap C go straight to B kill everybody coming through that doorway shut both doors and then continue into the basement to loop around because they're gonna spawn off of A and they're gonna come across and it's like easy kills build up your streaks but it depends you never know what type of team you're gonna get because this is one of those maps like either players really know this map or they don't know it at all and you're gonna get like a lot of weird weird variant gameplay and so that's the thing I mean I, I've been experimenting I've been experimenting with different kill streaks I've been experimenting with different perks and setups and I really enjoy using this setup you know um, Everybody always has something something smart to say. And listen, you could use the same weapon I'm using. Anybody who has a problem with the weapons I'm using, they can use the same weapons I'm using. It's it, Here's the thing. 
it's not like the sniper rifles. The sniper rifles are completely broken in this game. Meaning that you don't need the perks and so on and so forth and everything else to run them. Un unlike the um, unlike the um, unlike this marksman, you need the perks. You need everything to this game is reg this weapon is regulated by the perk system. So that's what I'm saying. That's the difference between this weapon and yeah, it it takes a perk setup and um, kill streaks and stick skills to make this weapon work. It's not like the sniper where you just hey, you know, um, ADS and there's no disregard for time and you don't have to use perks and so on and so forth, but that's, I mean, that's the frustration that I don't, I'm not really a uh, real good, you know, not the rest of the community can see. And I try to convey that to you. But anyways, um, go over to my other channel, Fist2, in the link description. I'm going to talk about this whole shakeup in the pro gaming scene. And until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace! I'm out.